In this video, we're going to be looking at one of the applications that we're going to use to be submitting assignments throughout this semester. That application is called Shobi. And you can find it over here with a blue background and an icon in the front that resembles inboxes that you have in a traditional desk. So we're going to go ahead and click the application. This is the screen you should see if you are accessing the application for the first time or if you are not logged in. What we need to do in order to use the application is to, of course, log in. So we're going to go down here to where it says sign up for free. If you have already signed up for the course and are simply returning to the application to use it once more, of course, you will click down here under sign in. But we're going to go ahead and click sign up for free. Now, of course, you would select the I'm a student option right here. Now that you've pressed the student option, you're going to be faced with five lines to fill out in order to set up your account. Go ahead and pause the video so that you can set this account up by filling out each of the five lines. Once you have registered for an account, you will see this screen that will ask you for a class code so that you can sign up and be ready to submit assignments to the right box. Now, for the purposes of this video, we are going to enter the class code for a test class that I have created. However, on the first day of class, I will give you a unique class code for you to be able to enter to access the material for that month's class. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the code for the test class, which is NPJPP. And then, once I've entered the code, I'm going to go down here to where it says Join Class and click it. Alright, once you fully log in and have registered for a course, this is the window that you will see. Up here you see the list where it says classes. This is any class that you have been registered inside of the Shobi app. The class that we have registered is called Test Class Videos. We're only seeing the name right now because we have not entered the course. This is the main home screen for the app when you are logged in. Down here, the plus button will allow you to add any other classes if you do have more to add. And of course this button here allows you to refresh the screen to see if any classes uh, have become available if let's say that you used the Shobi website in Safari or any other uh, internet browser to add a new class. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to click test class videos. Now when you enter the course you'll see here to the left any assignments that you may have. In this class there is one assignment so far that has been assigned to you. Just like on the previous home page, right down here there is a button for refresh in case the more assignments have been added by your professor since the last time you logged in. But right now we only have one so we're gonna go ahead and click here where it says video bio. Now there are many different ways that you can submit an assignment through Shobi. You're gonna go up here where the plus sign is just like it says here, in a nice little convenient text. So go right up here, click the plus sign, and this window will appear. You have, as you can see, six different options for how to submit an assignment. Clicking this button here will allow you to take a picture or a video, and Shobi will automatically attach it to the application. This button right here will allow you to go into your photo library and select a photo or a video that you have either already taken in the photos case or created in the videos case and attach it just like you would if you were taking the video or picture immediately through the app to the camera one. Capture PDF works with PDFs uh, as in it allows you to use the camera to capture a file in PDF form. Photo library is the same as the photo library up here but in PDF form. Then we have text note where you can simply write your answer for the assignment. And then finally, the last bit here is voice note where it will capture only your voice and save it to the attachment. So in this case, I'm going to click text note to keep it nice and simple. Notice how this little option showed up. We're, gonna we're just going to write in a little bit of text here so it comes out and says,
Okay, like always, we read over what we wrote to make sure there are no spelling or grammatical mistakes. And once we're satisfied, we go up here to where it says save. When you submit your assignment, regardless of whether you submit it in picture, video, text, or other form, you'll see it, the record of it right down here. Your name, when you submitted it, and what your submission was. Once the professor, in this case me, has graded your assignment, you'll see feedback right on top of what you submitted. So there you have the professor's name, me, when it was submitted, and what the comment was. On top of that, you'll know there was a comment added because under the little symbol that there was for your attachment, there will be one for the professor's. That is the Shobi application. As you can see, it's a very powerful app to allow you to submit assignments in many different ways. I hope that throughout the semester it will make it easier for you to get your work done and not just in the ways that you'd normally expect but in more creative ways allowing you to do better and more productive work throughout the whole month and beyond. And with that, that was our video on the Shobi app. Thank you for paying attention and have a great day.